please. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is Paul Lynham on board the MV Tiri. Mayday, Mayday. We are on the rocks. We estimate our position to be near Wanga Parapara Harbour on Great Barrier Island, on the western side of Great Barrier Island. Hi, I'm Adrian Blackburn, and on a Saturday night in early 1968, I was just one of thousands of New Zealanders who heard that shocking live broadcast. Then the crew on the station's pirate ship Tiri broke into the broadcast with a desperate plea for help. Their old coaster was being battered on the rocks of Great Barrier Island, 50 miles off the New Zealand coast. I'd been involved very closely with Radio Hauraki as a newspaper reporter, right from the start of their audacious bid to overturn New Zealand's rigid state broadcasting monopoly. I was in the midst of the crowd of 2,000 supporters on the Auckland waterfront, who defied the police and tried but failed to get the old ship out to sea. And then, when the Terry finally slipped out of Auckland Harbour in the dead of night, headed for international waters, I was also there, on board. Before Hauraki finally made it legally to shore, there were a myriad more great stories for me to cover. Storms, another shipwreck, continuing government harassment, even, right at the point of triumph, a final tragic death. The Hauraki story of triumph over odds has been the subject of a fictional movie and a factual TV drama documentary. But the full and final story of that exciting time illustrated with a swag of historic photographs of those heady days of radio piracy and adventure on the high seas, is now available in the new release of my own book, Radio Pirates, totally updated with additional photographs from the screen productions. Go to the website, radiopiratesthebook.com. That's where you'll get the whole story.